The legal battle over Medicare's drug pricing negotiations is heating up and it could be heading to the Supreme Court. AARP opposing the Chamber of Commerce's request to delay the implementation of that part of the Inflation Reduction Act. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kimlani is following this story for Assange. That's right, Shauna. So AARP adding its name to the very short list, uh, the only one so far to to uh, file an amicus brief on behalf of the Health Department and specifically Health Secretary Javier Becerra, who's been named in these lawsuits brought on by multiple pharma companies, as well as the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and Pharma, the large lobbying uh, firm that represents all of the pharma companies. Now, it, it is, as you can see on your screen, a growing list on the against side, these companies asking for uh, a delay in the implementation and also calling it unconstitutional. A number of these lawsuits name different amendments, including the first, fifth, eighth, as well as ninth and tenth in some instances, uh, saying that they need to, uh, that the implementation of the rule would be taking away free speech by forcing at the end of the day, these companies to sign on after a brief negotiation <laughs> period, as well as uh, the fifth amendment is saying that it's an excessive, uh, sorry, government seizing property by taking the drugs at a negotiated price that they're quote unquote being forced to take. And then the eighth amendment being cited as excess tax in the fines that would be based uh, or that these companies would face it for non-compliance uh, according to Medicare. So all this put together is really setting up the stage for possibly a long drawn out battle. Bloomberg just reporting today that legal, legal experts do say it could head to the Supreme Court, especially because of that use of the Fifth Amendment and specifically calling it unconstitutional. So it will be certainly an interesting one to watch AARP saying that the delay of this uh, of this rule could really harm patients, especially those who need the life saving drugs at lower prices. They said so in their filing and they're looking at uh, what else can be done there are it, this battle really is not over we do expect likely more companies who are weighing their timing of entry as well as other organizations that could file also on behalf of the four uh, for the uh, Medicare pricing negotiations. So all uh, in within the timeline, we know that 2026 is that starting period. So time is starting to count down. Certainly is. All right. Anjali Kamlani, thanks so much for that update.